In a very short time, he's achieved more than we have time to list, actually. To mention just a few of his accomplishments, though, Mark is the Area 6 Governor. He's the club coach for the Running Hill Toastmasters Club. He has already earned four Triple Crowns, and a Triple Crown is three educational or leadership awards in, a, in the Toastmaster year. And you can do that multiple times in a given year. It, he is an Advanced Communicator Gold, Advanced Leader Bronze three times. He intends, he intends to achieve his Advanced Leader Silver by June 30th, which will allow him to complete his Distinguished Toastmaster in less than three years' time. 2010-2011, he helped Greater Portland Toastmasters earn the Al Ferguson Award, which in the Distinguished Club Program, that is all 10 DCP points. 2011-2012, as president, he guided the Woodbridge Toastmasters I said that, didn't I? <laughs> at the Ball Conference in Bangor this, this past November. The dis district awarded Mark with the biggest award of all, which is the District 45 Outstanding Toastmaster of the Year. The question is, some of you are probably wondering, how did Mark accomplish this Al Ferguson Award, for instance, at Woodford? How does he do that? He has a very distinct system that allows this to happen. As president last year, he developed and initiated what he calls the three-pronged system. As area governor and building upon that proven success, he has brought that system to all, all of his Area 6 clubs. As a result, all four clubs came to also believe that they could achieve the distinguished uh, the President's Distinguished Club Program Award. With so much excitement, Mark has selected, was selected to present this workshop at the District 45 Conference this fall. So to share his innovative system with us, Mark will be presenting this workshop for us today. Please give me a warm welcome to Mark Henkel as he presents the three-prong system for motivating club success. Thank you for that kind introduction. Thank you, fellow Toastmasters. This, this is the prize. We all want to achieve this for our clubs. This is the Presidential Distinguished Club <coughs> Ribbon. But how do we do that? I hope to share with you a system that can help your clubs achieve that as well. It is the three-pronged system for motivating club success. Now in front of you, you should have a handout. That handout is yours. Get your pens out. You will be using it. This is yours to keep. This is a workshop after all. So we're going to be doing some things with this. And you'll see that it has an example of three prongs on the front cover. The cord is the Toastmasters Educational System of Awards. But what we're going to be looking at is the three prongs to have the power to make it all work. And that's why that is the picture and icon that you have for the three prong system on the front of your cover there. Now when I first joined Toastmasters two and a half years ago, I joined two clubs, Greater Portland Toastmasters and the Woodford Toastmasters. And I started doing speech after speech, and because of the opportunity to always speak, because there was always an open slot, I managed to get my CC done in the first three months. And then three months later, completed two more awards, the ACB and the CL, and completed my first Triple Crown in my first six months. That actually helped give enough awards for the Greater Portland Toastmasters to earn all 10 of the DCP points that year, which is the Al Ferguson Award. It's all 10 that the district gives us an award, the Al Ferguson Award. The following year, I was asked, elected, whatever you want to call it, to be president of Woodford's Toastmasters. And I wanted that club also to achieve the, D the Al Ferguson Award for all 10 of those DCP goals. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm the kind of guy who likes to look ahead. You know, you know for example, if you want to get an ACB, you've got to get an e a CC first. So I looked ahead and I discovered 
that around the, the month of October, there's going to be a visit from our area governor. Now, I wasn't really sure what that was all about, so I went to Toastmasters.org. What is this area governor going to be doing when he comes to watch us and see, and see what we're doing and reporting on us? And I downloaded, at the time, what was the area governor visit report. And this report, which you do not have in your handout, had just the club success plan and a few questions that the area governor would answer to observe about the club. So I said, aha. So that means then before the area governor arrives, we need to have a club success plan. All right, that's fine, we can do that. Now I knew that, you know, I've been involved in club success plans where the president and the officers get together as a little elite, decide what the club's gonna do for its club success plan. But I thought, let's get the whole club involved. We're talking about people achieving awards. Why not have this be a club-wide club success plan? But the challenge to that was, many people don't even know what the Distinguished Club Program is. So how do they come to a club success plan without even knowing much about it? And then I went to Toastmasters.org and found out, aha, there's a presentation in the Successful Club series, How to Be a Distinguished Club. <coughs> so what I did is, is the first meeting in August, I did the presentation from the Successful Club series, How to Be a Distinguished Club. That was the first step. And then at the end of that presentation, I said to the members in the club, now that you understand what the DCP system is, over the next two weeks, think about what your individual goals are and then how those individual goals could connect to the club goals. Now I've got them thinking. They're connecting. So over the next two weeks, that's what all the members were doing, and we came back for the next meeting and had a club success plan. And it was exciting. People were stepping up to bump up their achievements, they will speak more often because now what they've done, and this is why it's magic, they connect their individual goals with the club goals. And that's how this whole system works and why it works. So by doing that, we had a club success plan and the members understood what it was about and wanted to be involved in it and when it was time we had our contest first, and then you have the area governor visit. Here you go, Mr. Area Governor. It was a gentleman that year. This is already filled out, the club success plan. Now all he's got to do is fill out a couple other questions. Already had it ready for the area governor. And so we used that system. And sure enough, by last June, June 30th, Woodford's Toastmasters achieved all 10 of those DCP points, and we also just received the Al Ferguson Award. So this is a three-part system that does work. Thank you. It gets even more exciting than that. This, so that you know, these are our three prongs. Step one, step two, step three. Our three prongs, and this is our court. I was then promoted, pushed, pushed, to be area governor after that year was over. So starting in July, I became area governor. And because of this success, I brought this to the district. The district loved it. The division governor loved it. And this was something we were going to do now. And I was going to bring this to the area because I got full approval and brought this system to the four clubs of Area 6. They did the Distinguished Club presentation. Then they had their club success plan. And I had more people coming up to me saying, I get it, now it makes sense. Members who would think they'd do a speech once every three months, now they're thinking, well, you know, I'm only six speeches away from a CC. If I do a speech once a month, I can have my CC by February or March. And not only does that help them achieve that goal, but it helps the DCP goals for the club as well. And so it now makes that connection for them. They get it between their individual goals and the club goals. And so that's how that worked through 
the year as the president. And then we came to the area and brought it to the other clubs. And all four clubs in Area 6, upon doing this, discovered that it's a real possibility that each of the four clubs in Area 6 could also achieve presidential distinguished club. Now, I want to be clear, there are 10 goals, but there's also a membership minimum requirement. And we're going to be talking about the goals. We'll talk about membership in a later presentation. But right now, we're talking about the 10 goals. But as the club now focuses in each of the Area 6 clubs, each one was focusing, they also discovered that there was like not one, not two, not three, but at least four, even as many as six potential triple crowns coming out of our area because of people discovering the opportunities available because now their wheels are turning and they're thinking and they're motivating and they're connecting their individual goals with the club goals and it becomes a unifying and rallying effect for the entire club. So this is the three prong system for motivating club success. Now before we go into the first prong, I want to ask you, for a show of hands, what are the two awards that require someone to perform a successful club series presentation? Show of hands, anyone know what the two awards are? Go over here. Advanced Leader Bronze. ALB, that's, that's right. That's one. ACS. What did I hear? ACS. The ACS, that's exactly right. The Advanced Communicator Silver. These are the two awards that someone has to do two presentations from the Successful Club Series in order to achieve one of these awards. So what I want to do right now is we're going to take two minutes where I want you to write on the second page where you see the Distinguished Club, right on that page or the back if you want. It's the very second, the How to Be a Distinguished Club. It's basically, it's the, the picture of the cover of a magazine. Just, just that one right there. And right on it or the back page of it, the ACS and ALB. And I want you to spend the next two minutes thinking about and listing off who are the members in your club who are working towards these two particular goals? Who, what are the names of those who are going to work for the ACS and for the ALB? And here's a little tip about the ALB. You might have a member who's been a member for a couple years and they're almost done the CL, but because they've been an officer and they've done a couple other things, they may also be simultaneously an ALB after they achieve the CL. All they need to do is these two presentations. So right now, let's take two minutes right now.
Okay, time's up. I want to ask for a show of hands. How many people see one or more ACS in your club this year? Advanced Communicator Silver. Please keep your hand up if you have two or more. If you don't have at least two, please drop your hands. How about three or more ACSs in your club? Okay. Now let's do the same for the ALB. How many people see at least one ALB in your club this year? Okay. How about two or more? If not, drop your hand, please. How about three or more ALBs in your club? Excellent. The people you've just written down are the people who are the best position to present prong one because it works toward their own goal of ACS or ALB. And of course, a connecting their individual goal to the club goals. So they present to the club the how to be a distinguished club. And at the end of the presentation, they say, next meeting, our president is going to conduct a club-wide club success plan. Please think about what your individual goals are. Now that you understand this, what are your individual goals for this year so that when we do the club success plan in the next meeting, you'll know what you want to do to help with the whole club. <coughs> and what they're doing is they're teaching the club the 10 goals of the DCP. Now when you see me write this, you're going to see I'm going to put numbers up here. You can write these numbers down. These are the download numbers, right? In other words, toastmasters.org slash 299. That's the number you will get for how to be a distinguished club for your prong one, if you're looking for it. But what you want to do is you want to get to a place where your members understand what the 10 goals are. You should be able to rattle it off. Two CCs, another two CCs, one advanced communicator, another advanced communicator, a leadership, another leadership, four new members, another four new members, four or more officers to both TLIs and deadlines met. Those are the 10 goals. And you want to have your members understanding them. Because as they keep thinking about that, they're connecting their individual goals with the club goals. And that's the unifying effect and the rallying effect of this system. So now that you have taught the members what the Distinguished Club program is, and taught them how it works, and you've had that, now you're ready for the second problem, the club success plan. Now I want to ask, who knows when Toastmasters recommends that a club should do its club success plan. Anybody know? Show of hands. Anybody know when Toastmasters recommends doing it? Tom? September. They say September, okay? That, that's what your answer is. Anybody else? I think July when the new offices come in. In the beginning, as July? Yeah. And maybe again in January. That's extraordinarily logical. Actually, according to the club leadership handbook, they recommend it in June, before the officers even take their office on July 1st, that they recommend having an executive meeting. Now, and that's perfectly fine for the officers to do that going forward. But you know what the magic of all this is? You can have as many club success plans as you want. There's nothing to say you can't have another one later. And we're not just going to do that. We're not going to have it just be some, the elite group of officers are making the decisions. We're bringing it into the whole club. Let the whole club participate so they can connect their individual goals with the club goals. So I recommend doing this in the beginning of August so that the prong one is done in the first meeting of August and then the second one is done the next meeting. That way you don't have to worry about what's going on through the contest month of, March, of September and then the area governor would come after that. So you've taught the club, they come back and you're ready for a club success plan. <coughs> In your handout, the next page you should see a how to be a distinguished club program goals. It would be this right here. This is a club success plan. We're going to take two minutes more, and I want to ask you to fill in these goals. Now, don't get too worried about if you don't get it exactly right. I know two minutes is not a lot of time, but I just want to have the exercise of doing that. You can take this 
and do it more at home at another time. But let's take two minutes right now and try to fill in the names of how you think you can get these goals filled this particular year for your club. Let's take two minutes right now. Okay, time's up. Now I know that was a short period of time, but you can take this home and work on it even more at a later time. It gets you, gets the juices cooking, thinking about what can happen in your club. Now I want to get a show of hands. Of what you think you've done on that, how many people, without discussing issues of membership, minimum requirements, how many people think that your club can achieve at least five to six goals this year. Excellent. Yeah, a couple of our clubs in Area 6 have already achieved five as well. Absolutely. Excellent. That's the distinguished club. Now, how many think you can do seven or more? Please keep your hand up. And if you can't do at least seven, then put your hand down. That's the select. Now, how many think your club can achieve all, or excuse me, nine or more of those goals? That is presidential distinguished club. That's what it is. So it's a matter of seeing what the members' goals are and the club goal together and making it work. So now what we've done is we have taught the members with prong one how to be a distinguished club. Then we've had a club success plan. Then you go through the period of the contest of September. And then you have the area governor's visit, which really, it's really good to have it like right in the beginning of October because you've just come out of that September 30 deadline when you start having members not renewing. So you, now you get a really feel for where you're going to be going forward from the October basis. So now, now we're ready to go to that third prong. Now I want to ask, does anybody know, and area governors please keep your hands down, what has happened to the area governor's visit report this year? Does anybody know? Yes. And as long as you're not an area governor or division governor, please. Uh, anybody else? I saw one hand back there. Yes, it is. It has gone from being a club success plan with a couple questions to the back to now being not one, not two, not three, but four pages. And it's comprehensive stuff on those pages. What you have for the last two sheets on your handout are the four pages of the new area governor's visit report. It's very comprehensive. Look at the very back page of it. That alone is the club success plan. They've made it smaller with all kinds of new details added on top of the club success plan issues. Well, how are you going to achieve it? 
Now, I want you to notice in this area of government's visit report, look at that very last page where the club success plan is, and notice there's a section for special awards, other awards that aren't necessarily you know, the CC or the CL. This would be the area you would put in who's going to earn a triple crown or a leadership excellence award, the HBO. So let's take another two minutes and I want you to fill in that segment of the special awards that you see in your club that someone you believe or multiple people gives. The very last page of the handout. And in it, it's under additional awards, just before the second dark bar, just right above it. Additional awards. Okay? Well, this is a new, new. Uh, they, this is brand new for the area governor's visit. And that's exactly. And that's where you put in triple crowns, other awards that are going to. It's to basically recognize that some other things are going on in the club as well. So you put your triple crowns, your leadership awards, things of that nature. If that's something that someone wants to do as well, absolutely, absolutely. But let's right now let's focus on. Who you believe, a triple crown is someone who achieves three educational awards in one year. That could be a CC, a CL, an ALB, or whatever three awards in one particular year, that's a triple crown. So let's take two minutes and fill in that block right now. Two minutes now. Okay, time's up. As before, I want to ask for a show of hands. How many people see one or more triple crowns in your club? Look at that. Put those hands back up. Don't, don't take them down. Look at that. Let's applause for that. That's awesome. Dare we try to see two or more? Ah, there we go. Awesome. We do have some. This is just one of the added things that are in the area governor's visit report. Now, if you had a chance to also look through that, does anybody know what the two subdivisions now are for the area governor's visit report? Does anybody recognize what it is? Any show of hands? Anybody know what it is? The two segments that we now have there? You have it in front of you. It's not a trick question, I promise. <laughs> There's basically, the there are two parts to the new area governor's visit report. There's one part and then there's another part. Do we know what the two parts are? Well, that's actually a part of a part. Well, the, 
parts of your future? Okay. Well, one is the same that we had had before. The last page, which is the club success plan. So what are the other first three pages? What has Toastmasters given us? There we go. I see an area governor knowing, but that's an area governor knowing. It's the moments of truth. That's what they have done. What you have there in front of you in those first three pages is an analysis of your club's moments of truth. So what Toastmasters has just done by changing the area governor's visit report to this, it's they've had your area governor come into your club and appraise your club and give you your assessment like a professional of your moments of truth. It's like a, any business would have an independent consultant come in and give them an appraisal of their business model. What you've got is your professional, if you will, your area governor coming in and saying, these are the strengths I observed. These are the weaknesses to help your club. You now have a gold mine of an appraisal with this area governor's visit report. But I want to tell you, as an area governor, it took me three hours per club to give a good comprehensive report per club. Times four clubs, twice a year, that's going to be some time. But that's worth it. Because what this does is this now gives a wonderful tool to the officers of each of those clubs. Because what happens now is that that area governor's visit report gets sent back to the president. And the president can now have a meeting with the officer and say, this is what our area governor has said are our moments of truth appraisal. And so that what can we do to work on it? And so through the months of October and November and December and January, the club can be working on improving those areas discovered in that moments of truth appraisal in the area governor's visit report. And so that becomes a gold mine. Now I'm sure someone has said to themselves, Somebody had to have, as I was presenting this, the three prongs of our DCP, someone is saying, wait a minute, we have a second area governor's visit in the spring, don't we, Mark? Do we have to present the how to be a distinguished club program again? No, we don't. Here's the beauty. That's called intentional tease. <laughs> first, we have the DCP as our first prong. Then, the club success plan. And then the area governor's visit for our fall three prongs. <laughs> so in the spring, instead of presenting the DCP, I bet you some of you are now knowing where we're going with this, don't you? <laughs> you present the moments of truth. Because think of this cycle, how this comes together. You've taught the club how to be a DCP. You have the club success plan. Then you have the area governor's visit in the fall. And then the area governor gives you an appraisal <laughs> at, of your moments of truth. The president can take that, work with the officers to improve that through the winter. And then it's time to get ready for the second cycle of the three-prong system. And so in February, whoever's working for that ACS or ALB for their second presentation requirement, they can present the moments of truth presentation. Then you do the club success plan, go through the contest and have your area governor's visit in April or May. But what this does, the reason why you would have that moment of truth in February is because it becomes like having a checkup. It's like if you're doing a fitness goal for yourself, you routinely look to see where you're achieving that. Or if you have other business goals and you're looking to see where you're achieving that, the moment of truth re that came from your area governor's visit report in the fall become the tools for you to improve your club through the winter and then you're ready to do it again and say, well, club, how are we doing? Are we working toward it? And then you have your second club success plan. And you find out, okay, well, we did achieve these goals for our club success plan, but we still got a couple more. And someone said they were going to be done by December 31st. So do you think maybe, maybe we'll do it by February instead? And it allows you to have a checkup so that you're not waiting until June saying, oh, my gosh, we didn't achieve our goals. All of this becomes a 
process of keeping you focused, but even better than that, this three-pronged system allows us to help our members make that connection between their individual goals and the club goals. That is what unifies and rallies the club. So with the three prongs, you take the three prong system, you're ready to do it and you plug it in and you've got power. That is the three prong system for motivating club success.